So one of the things that I say when people ask me, so why did you take this position? I say, mm -hmm. <laughs> I was very much attracted to your vision about what you saw that this place, the Fuller Seminary could be. Tell us more about what you're dreaming about. I think that the, one of the questions that's framing a lot of what I'm concerned about these days is, will there be a church in the 21st century that matters? I think a church that matters has to be a church that lands in, as an embodied church. It has to be a church that matters with the evidence of hope in the context of pain and suffering. It has to be a church that is able to move into places of darkness and neediness and the mundane. Do we believe in a God that actually shows up in that way and where what we say and what we do is mutually reinforcing? And if a church is like that with creativity and imagination, that is a transformational vision. This is why artists are so critical. Our ability to move in as leaders in whatever form, whether inside or outside the church or anything else in between, will be in part affected by how we see. And how we see is going to be affected by what shapes our capacity to perceive. And our perceptions are shaped by all kinds of things, but among the things that our perceptions are shaped by is the influence of the arts. So you're saying that Fuller Seminary is not just for pastors? <laughs> for starters, it's not just for pastors. Roughly half of our students go into classic Christian vocations and about half go into other spheres of life. So it means that we're trying to influence leaders of all kinds. Our phrase is that we're seeking to form global leaders for kingdom vocations. And we're trying to move from being a, a the classic seminary is an institution that forms pastors for a church in Christendom. And we're trying to move from that to being a seminary that forms leaders for a church in exile. Completely different social location, totally different sense of instincts, a need to be a very different kind of leader with the capacity to see, engage, love, serve, create, inspire, challenge, sacrifice. Culture care meshes profoundly with everything else that I would hope is happening in the life of the seminary. And I don't think Fuller, I don't think the church in the world can actually fulfill its mission without the elements of what culture care actually brings to the conversation and brings to the formation of pastors and Christian leaders, whether they're inside the church or outside the church. So this is electrifying to me because it feels like what it's got a hold of is a current that is so deeply needed in the life of the church. and. Uh, an expression of the creativity of the God who's made us. Mm -hmm.